it is uh, indeed a new beginning and a new dawn in India's space journey. It is also a turning point for India's startup movement. We have more than 150 proposals. Last few minutes, which angles? And uh, 100 degrees. Yeah, Mazuji, you have Event number 96 completed. And we have a successful liftoff of Vikram S rocket. I think I should be able to show you the jubilant environment here at the Mission Control Center where the entire team is guessing. Udaan se bas ek minute dus second door hum log aur jaise meri sahiyogi Madhuri ji ne bataya aapko kaun si angle se kis धरती से कितने एंगल बनाते हुए ये रॉकेट उड़े ताकि हम जो चाहते हैं जो कक्षा हम चाहते हैं जो ऊंचाई हम वो हमें मिले ये माधुरी जी ने बताया आपको रॉकेट का व्यू लॉन्च से सिर्फ 30 सेकंड दूर हम अब ज्यादा बोलने वाले इट इज इंडीड अ न्यू बिगनिंग एंड अ न्यू डॉन इन इंडिया स्पेस जर्नी एंड थैंक यू सो वेरी मच प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हुज मेड दिस पॉसिबल by opening India space sector to public private participation and it's also a turning point for India's startup movement which also received an impetus by Prime Minister Modi who spoke about it from the ramparts of Red Fort. Today startups having entered space sector in a big way and I think uh, all credit also goes to these two youngsters who led this team of Skyroot and uh, indeed this is going to place India as a frontline nation in this sector. Where the entire team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket. The views from the launcher camera. Today uh, was a suborbital launch. Uh, that means a launch that does not go into the orbit, which starts at about 500 kilometers. Uh, it was a launch that went to about 90 kilometers. This launch was primarily to demonstrate the capability of Skyroot Aerospace and also test out many subsystems that will go into the orbital vehicle which will happen in the next one year or so. Right? Uh, to that extent the launch had a, a, a limited uh, sort of range, uh, limited at, uh, altitude but very important to be able to prepare the company for the orbital launch. Uh, there have been a uh, lot of uh, proposals that have come from the private sector. Today we, uh, we have more than 150 proposals that have come not just from startups, <coughs> but startups, established businesses or companies, uh, academia, students, uh, uh, all of them. Uh, so 150 plus proposals have come in. We have approved five so far. This was the fourth one. Uh, three have already been launched. This was the fourth one. And the fifth one will be happening uh, in the next uh, two weeks. Uh, and, and then after that, of course, many in the pipeline, and that will happen. The views from the launcher camera. In a few seconds, uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of aerodynamic pressure, followed by the burnout, and we will get you those confirmations shortly. The vehicle will experience Q max around 50. We have reached Mark 5, which means it is flying at five times the velocity of went into space as we intended and now after completing his mission of achieving the peak orbit